Once, there lived a greedy and cunning wolf in a dense forest. One day, while he was having his dinner, a bone got stuck into his throat. He tried hard to take it out but couldn't succeed in his effort. The wolf began whining with pain. The pain was unbearable. The wolf got worried and began thinking, the pain will subside in due course. But, what will happen if the bone doesn't come out? I won't be able to eat anything. I will starve to death. The wolf began thinking of some possible remedy to overcome the problem. Suddenly he recalled that there was a crane who lived on the banks of a nearby lake. He immediately went to the crane and said, My friend, I've a bone stuck deep into my throat. If you could please pull it out of my throat with your long beak, I shall pay you suitably for your help and remain ever grateful to you. The crane saw his pitiable condition and agreed to help him. He put him long beak, and in the process, half of his neck also, deep into the throat of the wolf and pulled the bone out. The wolf was very happy to have the bone pulled out of his throat. Now pay me my fees, please, the crane requested. What fees, said the wolf. You put your head into my mouth and I let it out safely. That's enough of my kindness. Now get lost, otherwise, I'll kill you and eat your flesh. Long ago, there lived a wolf in a dense forest. The forest was surrounded by hills and gorges. A small river flowed through it. Once the wolf was drinking water at the head of a stream, when he saw a lamb drinking water from the same source down at some distance. The cunning wolf began to think of an excuse for attacking the gentle lamb and eating him. So he shouted down at the lamb, How dare you make the water dirty I am drinking? You must be mistaken, sir, said the poor lamb gently. How can I be making your water dirty, since it flows from you to me and not from me to you? The wolf began thinking cunningly of some other ruse in order to make an issue and get a justifiable excuse to kill the lamb and eat his delicious flesh. Do you remember having applied all sorts of contemptuous and even abusive epithets to me, just a year ago? Said the wolf to the innocent lamb. But, sir, replied the lamb in a trembling voice, I wasn't even born a year ago. Shut up, you fool, shouted the wolf again. Do you think I'm a fool? If it was not you then it must have been your father, who abused me long ago. At the most, I can apologize on behalf of my erring father if he at all ever did so, pleaded the lamb trembling. I think you're the kind of fellow who first commits a sin and then tries to argue it out. Let me teach you and your family a good lesson, saying this the wolf jumped upon the poor lamb and tore it to pieces and ate it.